Welcome to my channel. My name is Emily if you are new and I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Today I'm going to be sharing with you simple, inexpensive, and easy ways that you can decorate your home for Christmas on a budget. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money nor you have to store a lot of decor to make your home feel warm and cozy and I hope these tips will just help you out in this holiday season and show you different ways that you can decorate on a budget. I'm also excited too because today's video is in collaboration with my good friend Lisa over at Farmhouse on Boone. She is going to be sharing with you all her tips and tricks to decorate your home on a budget as well. So so please go watch her channel when you're done watching mine. I will leave her video linked down in the description box below. If you haven't heard of Lisa, you are missing out. You really should go follow her. She shares lots of DIYs, decorating, makeover videos, but also recipes. And she's actually restoring her 100-year-old farmhouse she just bought a few months ago and restoring it to its time period. And it's looking really beautiful. I love seeing those type of videos. So definitely check her out. You'll really enjoy her. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you some simple and easy and inexpensive ways you can decorate your home for Christmas. The first really easy way to decorate your home is to take an already pre-made wreath and then add your specific decor taste to it. So I have this wreath which is from Walmart, I'll have it linked down below for you, and I'm adding some berries that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I like this because my theme this year was to do browns, greens, and whites, and this fits perfectly, and the white berries just spruce it up a bit, and I love this. But you can add ornaments to any wreath, you can add berries, your specific color that you want to decorate your home with without spending a lot of money. This wreath I believe was $12 and so I spent $13 on it to make it look much better in my home. Another thing you can do is to shop Dollar Tree's uh, signs. This truck came from there and I love it. So if you're into the traditional red and green colors, this is a great way to make your own wreath without spending $20 or $30 on it. The next easy DIY Christmas project is to make your own pillows. I'm using some fabric from Walmart for $3.48, a glue gun and scissors. If you don't have a sewing machine, don't freak out. You can use fuse tape or you can simply glue it together like I'm going to show you here now. And this is really inexpensive. You're basically just going to lay out your fabric double sided, put your pillow insert on there and then cut it slightly larger. I would say at least about two inches on each side. And for this pillow, I'm making sure that I have all four sides cut and open. And when I'm laying down my glue or my fuse tape, you're going to want to put it at least half an inch to one inch inside of the edge. That way we are creating our own trim piece without having to sew anything. Now, if you want to learn how to sew or if you do have a sewing machine, you want to learn how to make a pillowcase, you can go watch Lisa's channel. She has tons of video tutorials on how to start sewing and they're really helpful. I learned a ton from them. So once you get to the final edge, you're going to want to make sure you put your pillow insert back in the pillow and then glue that down. And this is the way it came, came together and it's only $1.75 for this pillow. So whether you keep it or you don't, it didn't cost you very much and it looks really festive for my home decor anyways. But if you don't want to sew or you don't want to glue anything together, you can pick up some pillow covers off of Amazon for super inexpensive. These green velvet ones were $8 a piece. I'll have them linked down below for you. So there's options for everybody. You can use like fishing string or something if you wanted to, but ribbon is a really easy way and very inexpensive way to add that Christmas vibe to your home without it being overpowering or anything like that. So this ribbon's from Walmart. It's just a simple buffalo check. You can use whatever you would like. You don't have to go super fancy or anything like that, but I would say the bigger the wreath, the wider you want your ribbon to be. So this is an inch ribbon. I think that fits perfectly with this small wreath. Now to attach the ribbon to the wreath, this is wired. So all I had to do was basically fold it over and loop it two or three times and it worked just fine. But you can use some hot glue on there um, to secure it as well. It's completely up to you, but you really don't. They're not very heavy. And then all I did was tape it to the back of my wreath, but you can use a command hook if you want to, but it just spruces it up and gives that subtle Christmas touch to the entryway. So if you have mirrors or doors, you can do this in your kitchen way, or you can add it to shutters. Just some ideas for you. And again, they're really inexpensive. Each wreath was $3 and then the ribbon was about 50 cents a piece. So for the entryway, I know not everybody is into having Christmas trees all over their house the way I am. So I just added back some of my decor and I'm using a mini wreath from Dollar Tree along with a Dollar Tree candlestick holder and then a real candle, but they do sell fake ones there as well. And that 
little touch just brings in the Christmas vibe again. You could add a ceramic uh, house from Target Dollar section there. But see how I just changed out just a couple things and now it looks like it's ready for Christmas time. But I wanted to show you what I actually have there now, which I really love. You can let me know which look you prefer more. Another way is to use fresh greenery. You can pick this up at the store. This garland came from Costco, $17 for 25 feet. I added it to my banister and I just looped it around with some of the twine that came with it. Um, but you can use fresh pickings from outside and I know the tree lots have lots of extra fresh greens from the trees that they bring in and Lowe's does too. So you can pick up fresh greenery and decorate your home that way with it and you don't have to spend any money at all, especially if it's in your own backyard or you can find a park that has it. It's a really great option. For the next DIY, we're going to take some string that I found at Dollar Tree. It's just some rope, but you probably have rope around the house. You can use some simple twine as well. I'm cutting the rope to three different lengths. I'm adding some glue to the very top of the bells, and then I'm basically just gluing that rope to the bell. And we're just kind of making our own little jingle bells here. Everything came from the Dollar Tree, so you don't, again, have to spend a lot of money to add some seasonal decor to your house. I'm adding this to the top of this uh, sign that I found at Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby has a ton of decor right now 50% off so you can spend about $10, $15 on a Christmas sign and have something timeless that's something larger and a statement piece in your home without going over the top and I love the way the fresh garland looks with the little bells above the sign. I think it's a really pretty option. For the next project, we're going to be making our own ornaments, basically. I'm taking these wood clothespins. They have three different sizes at Dollar Tree. Very small, medium, and then the traditional size. I got the medium ones, and they come with quite a bit. You're basically just going to pull those apart, add a little bit of glue to the very bottom center of each one, and then just basically glue them together. And the way they're shaped, it works really well. They just form right together. So you're going to use about eight or so for each snowflake. And then you can hang these up throughout the house. And I added mine to my garland. But I like these because it's a great project you can do with your kids. It's very minimal. And I like the kind of Scandinavian look to them. Another option for the snowflake is you can basically take the clothespin and flip it around so you're still removing the uh, metal piece in them but you're gluing the flat sides together and once you form those together then you're just going to glue the very ends together like we did in the last one and you get a chunkier snowflake for this. You can paint them but I like that natural wood look. Um, I think it's really pretty and again it's very subtle and you don't have to spend a lot of money. I got four of these out of one package so I think that's a pretty good price. On their own, they look like snowflakes, but when I put them on the garland, I kind of felt they look like starfish. You can let me know if you agree. But for my tree this year, um, I put some Dollar Tree ornaments on it, like these trees came in a two pack. These kind of um, mirrored ornaments are really beautiful and they have different shapes. You can add dollar to target dollar spot uh, ornaments there or get a package from Walmart for like three bucks and get 20 or 30 ornaments and they're like the icicles. There's so many ways you can decorate your tree and not spend a lot of money, especially if you wanna change up the colors each year like I do. And another way to save money and keep things very simple and on the minimalist side is you don't even have to add ornaments, just do greenery and lights. You can layer two different greeneries together. It's a cedar garland with some eucalyptus picks. I added in some Target Dollar Spot candlesticks and I love the way that all looks together. Another option is to, again, make your own wreath, but get a really inexpensive wreath. This is under $3 at Walmart, and then I got a bow for $0.50 cents or a dollar. Um, dollar Tree has two for a dollar, so you can find those there. Add the bow to it, and you have a very traditional Christmas wreath without it being over the top or too much. And again, you don't have to use red. You could add ribbon to some regular um, trees around your house just to spruce it up a little bit and bring that color to life. So there's a lot of different ways that you can add Christmas without going overboard. 
If you're not into making things and aren't really crafty, you can get a pre-made set. This is a pick that I got from Hobby Lobby for $10 on sale and it comes with all the bells and whistles and I'm just adding a couple extra things to it to spruce it up. And you can make tablescapes with this, you can make your own garland like this, just layering them on themselves if you wanted to. Or you can get some greenery from Walmart. This is $3.48 and it comes with three or four different types of greenery in it. And then I'm layering in this kind of uh, iced greenery from Hobby Lobby that was $2.50 and I've layered in two of the Hobby Lobby ones and one of Walmart and intertwined them. And then I have some greenery for my walls. And again, this is very subtle and it's very natural, but you can go outside and pick different types of greenery and add that to your home and do it completely for free. So I hope I have given you a couple ideas on ways that you can decorate your home for Christmas on a budget. You don't have to go out and get a lot of items. You can keep it very minimal and still have it very elegant and cozy. And if you haven't seen my Christmas home tour and you are new here, I will leave that video link down below so you can go watch it next. I share all the details where everything is from and take you throughout my home and I hope that you will enjoy that. And if you happen to be coming over from Lisa's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love to have you subscribe. I'd love to be able to inspire and motivate you through DIYs, decorating, makeover, and lifestyle videos here on my channel. I share two new videos every week and I would love to have you be a part of my family. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and everything I have mentioned will be linked down in the description box below, including Lisa's video. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one.